Okay, so this next exercise, we uh, you want to train the vertical circle, and uh, when you're when you're training a vertical circle, you have to create a contrast in your body of a, of a tensile state and then a relaxed state. So for the tensile state, we're going to simulate simply power stretching and sending energy out in front of us. And then for the relaxed state, we're going to go from extending the mind just to relaxing and softening down, dropping the hip, stretching the spine and making a vertical loop in front of us. And uh, you want to spend at least 10 seconds or more just softening and sinking down until you reach this point where there's, uh, you're not, the speed of the relaxation and sinking doesn't increase. Initially, it's a sudden drop, and then it's, it, it reaches a point where it's not sinking any faster. Uh, repeat that for a few minutes. And then from there, as you do the vertical circle, you just gently move your hips side to side. It's only about a one to two inch movement in the sinking. So you power stretch out at least six meters in front of you, 20 feet or so, and then soften down and do the vertical circle with the side to side movement. And you want to make that relatively subtle. Now, how much you have movement on the hands is up to you, whether you're getting a forward backward or your hands aren't really moving, but you want to be able to transfer the left and right leg as, as you're doing this and uh, uh, practice it in a way that if you're touching something and you sink, there's no change in pressure and then practice it in such a way that there's a very soft pulling of, of, the, of the energy backwards and forwards as you sink. Do that for a few minutes and then <clears throat> Your training partner gives you a strong tension. He leans in heavily. You bridge against that, so you use a bit of muscle. Then you put a bit of stretch into it, and you relax onto the vertical circle. And uh, you're spinning uh, this way. Then the second exercise, as you drop, you're moving side to side while being very sensitive to a center of balance. So just doing this on a person's body, you can feel their center of balance readjusting to you. As soon as you put Sung into that, uh, his center of balance is slightly that way, so he's going that way. If I wanted him to go this way or that way or to the back corner, I'd have to put the Sung more on that side as I'm softening down. So we end up with four corners. We have where they naturally want to do when you produce the Sung. And then you create a... Uh, more relaxation, that corner, that corner, that corner, and so forth. And then, of course, straight behind them going back where we started. And uh, once you've done these, uh, these uh, exercises where you're just softening down and, and letting them go wherever, wherever they want, a bit more tension in me. So I have the yang state and then the yin state. From there, then you can go yang state, yin state, and then send the jin out and do your normal fa jin exercises. So this gives you the idea of the vertical circle. It produces the contrast of the yin and yang to, to really soften down. When you're doing it solo, power stretch really send a lot of energy out and then produce the sung. If you're in a place like this where there's a lot of trees, I could, uh, I want to be under the drip zone of the tree, right on the edge of the drip zone, send the energy towards the tree. And then as I sung, I pull it through the troidal field of the tree and do the vertical circle with the tree. You'll find that uh, the frequency of the vertical circle of the tree will be a bit different to your own vital field and the way we emit gin, produce power, but it'll, it'll pull you more into the uh, more open mental space more, more effectively. So alternating between those different states. The, <clears throat> the feeling of, um, of neutralizing the physical force from a person is really essential. You need someone to push on you, you need to soften that and dissolve it, get a good muscle change from, from muscle to fascia, muscle tendon change on the, on the release, and, uh, and then you'll start to get those, uh, those results building up. Uh, once you've done these basics, then you can increase complex movement. So if you do something like Tai Chi, where you're doing a rollback movement and, and then moving things like press and split and pull and so forth, uh, then you can incorporate those more complex movements into the sinking quality. The, the uh, faster you give expression to how you're going to use it, the way you train the solo exercises change to reflect its use case. So if you're using sp for a specific type of Fa Jin, 
by jumping from solo to a partner and then doing the fajin with a partner and then looping back to solo, your solo exercise changes to reflect its application. So uh, the sooner you can do that, the, the, the better. You need training partners for anything to do with Qigong to constantly be listening and adapting to people's energy fields, people's balance, and your listening skill goes way up with a training partner. Okay, jump into it. Thanks.